I reserved the fastest train in the world all to myself here in Japan. Today is going to be a special one. I contacted the maker of the fastest train in the world, JR Central, and asked them if I could reserve their maglev train for an entire day. And believe it or not, they said yes. And of course, I get to bring all of you guys along for the ride. This train isn't even available to the general public yet, so this is going to be epic. But like always, if you guys want to help support the channel, then definitely check out the Tokyo and Japan merch. If you want to see what I'm doing on the daily, check out my Instagram account. And if you have any questions about Japan or your Japan trip, check out my discord community that said let's get our train on so if you guys didn't guess it yet yep I'm again the first YouTube content creator to get full access to the Yamanashi maglev train testing facility so their research started in 1962 and they've been developing the maglev technology ever since ultimately building what we're gonna ride today the linear Chio Shinkansen train the fastest train on the planet running initially from Tokyo to Nagoya and then to Osaka officially opening after 2027 so I guess I'm a little early Fun little fact, this superconducting maglev train operates without a driver physically seated in the train's cockpit. Instead, you'll only find cameras there. It's all fully automated. Wow, look at that Guinness World Record certificate right here. It says the world's fastest maglev train, 603 kilometers an hour, 374.69 miles per hour. That is amazing. Let's see what's beyond this door. There we go. Okay, so there are three doors. Well, I guess four. One, two, three, four, and an elevator. Which door should we go in right now? Let's start with number one. Wow, so look at this rooftop. This is awesome. And look, this is the bridge right here where the Maglev train passes by. So, I think the train is gonna come right now. Probably count it down, but I think it should be coming. It's coming, it's coming. Whoa, Whoa that was so fast. So the train's normal operating speed is about 500 kilometers per hour, 311 miles per hour, which means it cuts down the current Tokyo to Osaka two and a half hour Shinkansen ride down to only 67 minutes for people in the States, Washington DC to New York in just one hour. Okay, so it looks like this is the boarding area right here. So we've got some seats right here. Oh, and there's a display just right there as well. I guess it explains where the train is right now. Okay, so I think the train has just arrived. The door is gonna open shortly. So this boarding dock was specifically designed and constructed for the maglev since it travels so fast. The waiting area needed to be completely sealed off, protected from air pressure and magnetic forces. Very airplane dock-like as it extends out to the train, creating a tunnel for the passengers to board. Okay, the door is open, let's go inside. Since we have the train for the day, I think I'll take a round trip ride. Look at all of these brand new empty seats. Since you reserved the whole entire train, we get to choose any seat we want. But just look at this, it's amazing. So apparently this is the first cab here. There's actually two designs that they are still contemplating which one that they're gonna use. This is the first design. You can see it's kind of like a darker design. You have these ultra new bucket seats, the contours to your body, and it has some like LED panels here at the top, graded. LED that's going through for this shelf area and then a net at the top here You can see that some of this is still not finished But you can see the carpet also has like a darker feel to it There is some storage right here, but I do know that there is another design So let's go check out the next car and see if we like that one or this one better and then we'll decide to sit in that one Cool, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. This car feels a lot brighter than the other one. And you can see it has the white sidewalls and then even the rails here are kind of uh, ventilated. You can see up into it. It doesn't have the, the LED gradient. So it just feels brighter in this entire car. And the seats look pretty much the same compared to that one. So yeah, I think I'm gonna choose this one instead. 
Okay, the seat feeling pretty comfortable. Let's see how much it reclines. Oh, that's good. I like it. And then it has a tray here as well. Wow, it's even carbon fiber. I guess they're trying to make the train a lot lighter. Oh, and look, they even have USB charging ports ready to go. And just right here, you can see that it has these kind of U-shaped seats that kind of gives you your own private space. And if you want to sleep, I guess you can just go like that. And even there's a little place you can put your drink. <sighs> Look at this. The center armrest is a little bit different than I've ever seen before. You know when you get on the plane or you ever get on the train and someone is like controlling the armrest? This one has a built-in divider so you know which side is your side. Oh, okay, before we start, I want to actually check out the toilet. So let's do that right now. Before we continue on, I want to tell you guys about the awesome people at Booksu who also sponsor this video. I know that many of you have already signed up, which is awesome, but for those of you who don't know, they provide a gourmet experience of Japanese snacks and tea pairings delivered to your front door. They also work with traditional Japanese factories, some over a hundred years old, to provide you with authentic Japanese flavors. First time users will get a Seasons of Japan box, like this one. This first box is special because it's specifically designed to bring you a taste of Japan's four seasons and lets you explore what a year of boksu would be like. One of my favorites is a spicy Ryu chips, which first timers can also so try and if you like it as much as I do reorder it for yourself or as a special gift for someone so get $15 off your own authentic Japanese snack box subscription from Boksu by using my code Paolo and link in the description <laughs> okay this is a pretty spacious toilet space. Pretty much has everything you would need, even a baby changer. If you want, you can put your baby here while you're taking a number one or number two. It looks like you can operate the doors from here, open and shut. If you have get any problems, you can call the train attendant. Two built-in sinks, which is pretty freaking crazy. Sanitary napkin disposal, seat cleaner disposal, regular disposal. The toilet even has its own backrest, so if you want to chill for a while, your back won't get Sore. It even has a little coat hanger here. So I guess if you want a little bit of alone time, you have all the space in the world to do it right here. Anyways, the train is about to start, so let's go back to our seat. Okay, that was a quick bathroom trip. So I think the train is gonna start right now. And it started to rain a little bit outside. Oh wow, and you can see right there in the screen, it's going at 27 kilometers an hour. And we're going through the tunnel right now, just about right here. I think the wheels are going up. Ah, it's a lot smoother. I wish I just, you know, had a drink and I could chill here. now going 320 kilometers an hour but it doesn't feel any different than it was earlier it's pretty smooth so I think we're gonna go head back the other way and we're gonna hit 500 kilometers an hour now we're actually going backwards and you feel like the force is like pushing you like this so surprisingly going even like 200 kilometers an hour quiet Actually, it even gets quieter the faster we go. Like when you start, you feel a little bit of the turbulence, it's like hear the noise, but as soon as you get to a higher speed, it gets even quieter. Let's go! 420! We're about to do it. And look, we're going 500 kilometers an hour and I'm standing up! This is awesome! It is so, so smooth. No different than riding the Shinkansen. So maybe a little bit louder, maybe the same. All right, so I think the train is slowing down a little bit because I've quieted down, it just kind of landed. I really feel like I rode an airplane and just got back from flying across the world and you're landing back home. That's what it feels like right now. Well, that was quite a levitating experience. I don't know about you guys, but after this, I'm all about traveling by magnets, if I can go this fast. And you can see right here the front of the train. But that's um, pretty much it. If you guys like this video, like always, help me out and hit that like button. If you guys want to see more videos like this or anything related to Japan, hit that subscribe button and the bell button. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.